सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कॉलिंग सीक्वेंस इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस द थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू द एक्टिवेशन ट्री एंड एक्टिवेशन रिकॉर्ड ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस स्टैटिक अलोकेशन डायनेमिक अलोकेशन एंड रन टाइम एनवायरमेंट सो व्हाट इज एक्टिवेशन ट्री एक्टिवेशन ऑफ द प्रोसीजर और फंक्शन विच इज टू बी शोन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द हेराचिकल स्ट्रक्चर and what is activation record it it that record maintain the information of that procedures temporary saved machine status control link access link etc etc now calling sequence okay suppose we have the function void get data and put data okay and in void get data there is another two functions are there available get data 1 and get data 2 whenever the function call for void get data at that time at that time at that time it go for void get data 1 or also go for void get data 2 and then control is written to the where the program is called now next void put data is called so just is this way calling sequence which is to be performed the function calls are implemented by generating what are known as calling sequence in the target code a calling sequence allocates an activation record and enter information into the its field a return sequence restore the state of the machine so that the calling procedure can continue the execution The following figure shows the snapshot of the runtime stack as the control passes through the activation tree. Okay, so let's let discuss these things. Okay, yes, this is the uh, diagram. Suppose we have the function main. In that we have the two procedure that is R and Q. So R is left of the Q. That's why. Q R is the parent node for the Q function because its termination before the Q function or starting of the Q. Here the Q has also called for P and also Q has different nested nested function that is P Q and another functions. Okay. now calling sequence position in activation tree that is main activation record that is maintain in main and remark is this is the frame for the main now activation tree passes from main to r okay now the how we are going to show that is here the run time environment operating system shows the information for the r so r is activated or uh, uh, what we can say that r is activated or that function is called now next r has been pop up why why we say that r is the parent node or parent function for q because why that's why we write at the left side of the q because its termination which is to be termination which is to be whenever when q is start that's why this is the parent for q procedure and now here the r has been r is uh, activated and its task is over that's why which is to be retrieved or pop up from that uh, from that string and here what we are going to add now we are pushed q1 comma q into the stack now next control now when uh, now this okay so here p1 comma 3 q1 comma 0 and q2 comma 3 these are the parameter which is to be changed according to the time so now these are the things which are related to the different function and finally and finally control is written to the 1 comma 3 because this is the last function last calling function so thus in this way we describe the things which are related to the which are related to the calling sequence 
here the dash line shows that ki how uh, these are the these things are over this uh, this functions or processor which is to be terminated so these are the things which are related to the calling sequence so what is calling sequence this is nothing but the procedure calling sequence and what kind of position what kind of how that activation tree which is to be shown and what kind of position which is to be stored in the memory so this can be shown with the help of calling sequence okay thank you